Hi, I'm Josh, and today I'm going to show you how to make Merg Makani from scratch. Tender butter chicken marinated in a mixture of spices, seared in mustard oil, then gently simmered in butter and spices. As always, a full list of all the ingredients is in the description below. Before I begin, please take a second to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks. Today I'm using skin chicken thighs, which I've deboned and marinated in the turmeric, chilli, and salt overnight. If you don't have that long, try to marinate for at least one hour. Add the mustard oil to a pan and add in the meat. Cook moving the pieces around until it's browned and starting to cook through. For me, this took around five minutes. Then remove the meat and place aside. Leave the oil in your pan. If you can't find mustard oil, you can make your own by mixing 3 tablespoons of vegetable oil with 1 teaspoon of dry mustard such as Coleman. Add in the onions to a pan and gently cook until caramelised, stirring frequently so they do not stick and burn. Once softened and caramelised, scoop them out into a blender. Add the cashews and half a cup of water and blitz to form a paste. Put this aside for use in a while. Back to the pan now. So add your butter and green chilies and fry for two to three minutes, stirring frequently. Add in the garlic and ginger paste, stir through and fry for 30 to 60 seconds until the strong smell disappears. In with the tomato paste, stir through and allow to cook for around a minute to reduce the bitterness. Time for the spices, so sprinkle in the chilli powder, coriander powder, salt, turmeric powder, cumin powder, garam masala powder and sugar. Stir through well and continue to cook it until the oil starts to separate. Now it's time for the blended onion and cashew paste. Pour in and stir through and allow to cook until the oil separates again. Turn off the heat and add the cream, stir through well and place back on the heat. Add the part cooked marinade meat and coat well and simmer for around 5 minutes. Add the hot water, stir through and allow to reduce until the dish is the consistency you require and the meat is cooked through. Serve sprinkled with fresh chopped coriander. Please remember to like and subscribe and check out this and many more recipes on my website at thecurrykid.co.uk.